summon the fighters to the center of the ring, and here they come. See the southpaw stance. Holyfield has had three previous fights. Stand up to these big guys and get a knockdown. Don't just be counted on to run and get out of the way and duck. That's what left to right. And slams Holyfield. Caps you close. Bird lands a straight left hand. Holyfield. Make the counter puncher come to him. Hard right hand by Holyfield. Drives Bird to the ropes. Bird ducks another punch as the round comes to a close. It's Bird. He's trying to make him come forward. Yeah, that's it's interesting. Hit him. Shot. And here comes Holyfield lashing out and hitting Bird with a right hand to the deck. Love to make you miss first and then they hit you with something. That's what you got to do is make them. I mean, this is a very big round for Bird. Yes, in the second round, Holyfield has looked too passive, too hesitant, and Bird has been able to score. You touched this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Let the ref say break. Evander, two right hands upstairs, two digging left hooks to the body. Another digging left hook to the body. That's it. You got to step back and breathe once you do that. It was interesting on the ropes how Bird held his gloves up around his head to avoid Holyfield's head. Back is against the rope. You gotta hit him. You just gotta hit him. And it makes you look foolish once you decide I'm going to hit him. Rich. In round one, when Evander Lynn did those big shots at the end of the round, he did more damage in the round. But two ringside last Saturday night to watch Vladimir Klitschko and Jamil McClellan. If you get a guy who stands back and wait for you, you can beat him out standing back waiting. Well, foot basement room. Now Evander has picked up his right hand leads. There it goes. Got to bring that right to the look closer to your left and start leading with the right hand. Interesting shift in momentum here. Holyfield getting Bird's attention with body punches. Didn't be the first one. Hard left hand from Bird, hard right hand from Holyfield. Now Bird popping the jab right onto Evander's chin. Very accurate punching there by Chris Bird. It's very, very hard. Well, very last... easy if you take the power off the shot. Stop trying to hit him with a big shot. And got... Holyfield gets in four shots. To punctuate the round after Bird had spent direction from your corner. You this Bird it. is backing Evander Holyfield up. What is that? Well, it's not a backup. He's going in a. Got him on the corner. Right hand raised Bird. That one also a glancing blow. The body shots are landing. Now he gets a right hand in upstairs. Left hand to the body was a solid blow. Right hand on the top of the head. Bird decides to throw back. Holyfield laying in and attacking. Did you hear? Holyfield comes forward with his head and catches Bird on the point of the chin with a punch that he shouldn't have been hit with. But he says that Vladimir Klitschko, Bird sticking the jab, sticking the jab, straight left hand, beating Holyfield to the punch over and over. Holyfield waiting again. Holyfield lands a right upstairs as Bird was whacking in with a left hook. Or a left cross, I should say, to the head. Holyfield's corner told him to be first. Get back and be first. That's the first time he's done it. Listen. Bird goes straight left hand and shows that the opposite is true as well. Jimmy Young was a right-handed version of Chris Bird. I think Chris Berg is in the league of his own. Mayweather was too quick and slick for Castillo. Therefore, Bird is too quick and slick for Holyfield. And he's throwing, he's even throwing harder punches than Mayweather did last week. It's later. Round eight begins with more Bird popping at Holyfield from long distance. And we heard Don Turner, Holyfield's trainer, saying... Vanders turned softball. I know Chris Bird could punch. He could end this fight. We know, George, the fight may be over. What a okay. feather it would be in Bird's cap if, if a guy regarded as a non-puncher. Bird all alone. Stop trying to win the guy. Knock him out. Harassing Holyfield with his greater quickness in there. 
That's that backhand with that straight found out a way to do it by well, now. He just does not believe in throwing the little shots, man. He lands a right uppercut as Bird gets brave and comes in. It's particularly hard to do it against this one. That Bird jabs him right to the chest, too. Those punches hurt, takes your power away from your jab. to the body. Bird goes into that peekaboo. Olafield is just trying to get in one desperate shot. That's all. No longer trying to win. One desperate. Evander just trying to rip everything he can with those left hooks. Crowd starting to warm the bird a little bit. The copy box and landing eight. These numbers are mind numbingly one sided at this point. Browns to one, 89 82. Chris Bird just jabbing him to death with that right hand. It, I mean, it would appear the boxing match has been decided. If he'd only been just throwing head shots, it'd been a different story. Holyfield trying to sledgehammer Bird with body shots. Hit him low. Let's get him up. And Randy Newman says you hit him low. Do you suspect he wanted to stay away from that style? Yeah, well, it's been the whole history of boxing. You stay away from southpaws, stay away from southpaws who can box. Vander trying to counter with one big shot. Is it there? To where he left off. Holyfield gets Bird cornered, catches him with the right hand. <laughs> Trying to detonate Chris Bird when he caught him on the ropes in Tacoma. Bird's got to step up and fight this man. Don't run him away anymore. That's what he's Back doing. Back him up. Back him up. That's what he's doing right here. Bird's trying to make a retaliatory statement at this moment. He ate that hug. I know you're rooting for a vendor, George, but he's a no-hoper. He's trying. You're going to have to catch some shots. But There's a hard right hand by Holyfield. Never Field. open a box of mess. Never open. And he catches Bird with a left hook. And once again... Bird is rocked by the impact of these punches as he was at the end of the last round. And he tries to turn around and retaliate. And Evander catches him with another big shot. Chris Bird got caught with three huge shots in the last 15 seconds of that round. Attention, 107, 102, eight rounds to three. Chris Bird, Jamaica Evander did enough to pull out rounds 10 and 11. Maybe I was being a little bit generous in the 10th, but certainly Evander wins with rounds one. 10 and 11 on my card, Chris Bird all the others. Chris Bird basically because of the fact that he gets off first at the C here, clean, effective punching. Bird even think moving. After the last two rounds though, Bird finally knows he's been in against Evander Holyfield. Prior to that, he might have had some questions. Bird just step in there with a straight left and get a knockdown. I'm sure, I'm in the heavyweight pitch. Lennox Lewis couldn't knock Evander Holyfield down. It'd be shocking if Chris Bird could. He tried to conserve his energy. He's let it hang out a lot more in the last couple of rounds. But now Bird's winning now the draw. Come on. Now it's time to see the fight. Fighters to actually participate in a 15 round fight early in his career against Dwight Muhammad Kawi. Maybe if he had three more rounds tonight, but he doesn't. He didn't end the fight running away, Bird did. He ended the fight fighting.
Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, John Stewart scores about 116 to 112. Judges Eugene Grant and Steve Weisfeld both score the bat 117 to 111. All three in favor of the winner of the IBF Heavyweight Championship of the World, Chris 